Hello everybody and welcome to the third episode of our flea market tour in the south of France. It's a new sunny morning and we are desperately trying to find the right position to record uh, the introduction of this video. Mm, yes, this one is good. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Okay. This is the last day of our stay here in the south of France. Uh, we are saying goodbye to uh, <coughs> Theo and Silvia that uh, they are leaving earlier. Goodbye. So goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. And uh, we are going on with another flea market. So stay tuned and uh, let's go. Bye. Oh, sì, ragazzi. Eh, sì, ci vuole Top. Eh, ragazzi, guarda. Guarda che sembra di livello anche. Ma guarda quanti dolcetti. Ma che vuoi, amo? We definitely need to eat something before going to the flea market and here they have a great choice. No, le devi prendere il maialino. Ti devi prendere un maialo. Tada! Bonjour, bonjour! Ciao, Mary! La ri, la ri, la la! Perché faccio il bombolone? No! No! Today we are in the city of Nice. Just a quick stop at the station. Ciao! Ciao! And we are on the road to the antiques market. Today is Easter Monday. We are planning to see three markets and they are all different. So stay till the end of the video because this is the grand finale of our vintage holiday. I visited Nice when I was younger but I didn't remember the beauty of this place. There are old shops and buildings with Art Nouveau style, which I love very much. This market has permanent structures and awnings, and I'm sure that here there are many high quality pieces, but also cheaper alternatives, which we like best. So let's start. Oh, come on, are you kidding me? If you have seen the previous episode, you know exactly what I'm thinking right now. That transparent frame is very cute. It has a typical French design and 30 euros is a good price. I love the color and decorations of this lamp. I wonder if it's an old one or not, but it surely has a Liberty inspiration. And here I see high-end brands. Mm, maybe they also have silk scarves somewhere. I don't know. Uh, let's keep on searching. Hello, uh, Gino. Mi piace questo tavolo col porta giornale incorporato. Eh? And those seem vases by Emile Gallet, but they are not signed, so they are less valuable, but I like them anyway. This was the upper part of an old dressing table, um, probably back in the 40s, an elegant lady used this mirror to do her makeup and hair and uh, I think it's gorgeous. I am looking for a set of uh, table and chairs to put in our garden and I like these green chairs and also the coral ones over there. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. They have so many costume jewelry pieces. I am really confused. There's too many and I don't know where to look. Maybe in this corner? Yes. This is a brooch by Guy Laroche. And um, there are some Yves Saint Laurent earrings. 
Maybe they are specialized in high-end French brands. My favorite one is the bird, gorgeous. But I also like the leaf-shaped brooch by Georges Resch. This market is super cool, but there are still few visitors. If you are curious to see what I purchased today, stay until the end of the video because I will share with you my haul. The writing says, on this carpet, discounts. Let me see if there is something interesting. Oh yes, this is a beautiful inkwell. Today I'm obsessed with Art Nouveau style and the price is 30 euros. A cute handmade wooden frame, it is all wrapped with an embossed metallic sheet. I think that this could come from India. 12 euros. This square with palm trees is amazing. È vero. Magari dello stesso periodo. These are Chinese vases with the cloisonné decorations. Um, we will talk about this in one of my next videos. Cos'è? Chi pensavo dentro? Cos'è? Cos'è, cos'è, cos'è? Mi sono già fatto male. Una borsa di Hermès. <ride> Te lo regalo, oh. guarda, giuro, te la è tua. Grazie. Te lo regalo. Ma che è? Cioè, che delusione. Se vuoi c'è anche questo amor di Hermes. Eh, ma dentro non c'è niente? Dentro non c'è niente. Quanto costa la scatola? Non lo so, però è carina la scatola di Hermes. Adesso glielo chiedo. Sì, adesso gli chiedo il prezzo. A nice green dish by Wedgwood. I am looking for cheap pieces to resell in my web shop, but I think that this is not the case. This is a Chinese jewelry mini cabinet, but I can see that the door lock is missing. This rack looked very promising, but only the first pieces were branded. Let me see. I like this velvet jacket, 40 euros, no brand. Mm, this is not a good price. Okay, let's move on. Some nice French barbotine ceramic plates. Um, you can recognize them by the decorations in relief and uh, there is also a sort of a cake stand. It is very nice. I spotted these two hand mirrors. I like them both and I also like that one, the round one. I'm not sure whether this is vintage or not, but anyway, I want a round mirror. So let's talk about this stand. Um, the old lady has a collection of vases signed by Emile Gallet. And let me tell you something about their story, uh, because Gallet perhaps was the most famous master glassmaker in history. Um, he was born in Nancy, in France, in 1846. He was fond of botanical sciences and uh, he was an experimenter. Um, so it was precisely the union between the new glass working techniques and the inspiration from nature which gave life to his masterpieces. And nowadays it is difficult to establish the authenticity of the vases because there are so many fake copies. 
and I have seen also a Hermes silk scarf. It should be this one. <laughs> not my favorite um, the price is 260 euros on this carpet everything is 10 euros and i spotted something this is very cool you need a very big pocket to hold this Maybe it is an alarm clock? I don't know. That old necklace is beautiful, but now I see that it has some discolorations on the chain. This Florentine jewelry box is 20 euros. Today is a good day for Art Nouveau lovers like me. Look at this, it is gorgeous. Another Florentine decorated box. I love these colors. They usually resell very quickly, but the price is too high, so I'm gonna pass. And what about that small one over there? Another wonderful brass piece. Hai trovato? Non so, una scatolina, ma se ti piace. Bella! Ho subito un... Un restauro strano? No, no, qualche botta. Fammi vedere il manico. L'hanno riparato dietro con quelle viti lì. L'hanno risistemato un po'. Un po' male. These are a couple of cute Chinese paintings. Recently I've got a similar one from a vintage shop and I think I will show it to you in another video. And here we find again the shell dishes by Sargi Min. I saw a set two days ago for 30 euros and here they cost 130 euros. <sighs> this is how it goes. <laughs> È molto carina con i numeri grandi così. 10 euro. Mm? Non funziona però. Potrà pinta, perché c'è anche quello vetto lì. No, è anche a dei. No. Eh, eh l'hanno appena messo. Questo è strano. Made in Germany, che altro. Mi piace. Vuoi vedere? È molto. Pasquale. Cinese? Mm -hmm. Oh, Molto carina. Look at the shape of these candle holders, beautiful, but maybe they are too complicated. Here they have a Chanel boy bag, designed by the famous Karl Lagerfeld, but it is hard to tell if it is authentic or not. And there's a lot of Chanel costume jewelry here. The leopard is another item that we have seen also two days ago. And that mirror on the right is very cool. Vediamole! Guarda che carina! È adorabile, ma è rosa! È salmone! È salmone! Molto carina! E poi? Questa è un po' particolare perché c'è il calendario automatico, eh, non lo so, non lo so. <ride> Però Manca non... un pezzo. No, no, va in appoggio. Ah, va in appoggio. Sì. Ah, bello. Another hand mirror, I love the ribbon on the upper part, this is all hand card. 
They also sell another one. This is more plain. I'm seeing so many beautiful things today, but I need to be picky because the prices are quite high compared to the ones um, of the other markets that we visited during this trip. Cos'era? Biscotti. Credo. Biscotti. Assortimento di biscotti. Veramente molto bello. And you know that silk scarves are my passion. Here they are in good conditions, but they are not signed. And uh, I like this 70s flower print. Also this one is nice. The price is 10 euros each. It's 11 a.m. and the market now is more crowded. So this frame is a little mystery because it is heavy and it seems very old. Also the beige fabric on the back seems old, but it has plastic clips on the back, so I believe that it is a recent reproduction. I am looking for other boxes for my small collection of vintage Hermes silk scarves. Actually I've got three of them, but I only have one box. di quelle tonde un pochino anni 70 però è un pochino più recente degli anni 70 vedere la presa eh, okay. no? siamo rovesci di quelle a palla ok ma infatti stavo guardando che bellezza questa lampada Okay, wait, wait a minute. Here we have some interesting pieces. This first one is by Jean Lanvin, 75 euros. Then Moschino. This one is Gianni Versace, 75 euros. These are high prices, but there are some beautiful gems here. And this one is by Cartier, 160 euros. Balenciaga, 45 euros. This price is lower than I expected. Maybe the scarf is not in excellent conditions. And this is by Chanel, only 65 euros. Mm. This is another low price. And the last one is my favorite. This is a must de Cartier and the price is 120 euros. Veramente bellissimo. And speaking about silk scarves, at the end of this video I've got a new entry that I just can't wait to show you. Two couples of cloisonné Chinese vases, they are very nice. And I can't believe my eyes. Look what was here just waiting for me. This is another collectible plate from the exact same series of the one that I found yesterday. I mean, this is a sign, maybe I should start this collection. Did you know that Marie Claire was founded in 1937? 
a super cute sun-shaped mirror, but it is very expensive, 80 euros if I'm not wrong. And this one is part of the same exposition. At this point, I'm afraid to ask the price. And look at that one, it is gorgeous. The owner here is a kind lady. I was looking at this mirror and she told me that she has made it with her own hands. This is a very cool item and it is also a good uh, DIY idea. She does the same with old brooches and buttons. This could be a fun way to recycle your own old costume jewelry too. Also the bags are handmade with different materials. Um, I like this one with the cat. We are on the road for the second market of the day that is out of the town of Nice. Allora, questa volta ci proviamo davvero, allora, ci diamo sì. una tempistica Assolutamente. per stare al mercatino sì. e poi volare verso casa. Volare! Oh, oh, vola, vola, oh, vola, oh, vola, oh. vola! Qual è la tempistica? Mm, Ma magari minuti. sono tutti a Ma mangiare adesso. No, a banchetto! Ah, a banchetto! <ride> Unfortunately, the information I got about this market were wrong. It was an ordinary crowded weekly market. But don't worry, I've got a B plan. E quello là in fondo? Sì, c'è la frutta, la cicoria. So we have parked our van and we are ready to discover this other market. Let's hope it's better than the previous one. Polionda. Polionda. 45 euro le... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was wondering how we could bring home the big trunk because our van is almost full. Anyway, this market is what the French call Vie de Grenier. It is similar to a yard sale, so it is more difficult to find something interesting. But the prices are much lower than the ones we've seen this morning. And who knows, maybe there are some hidden gems, so let's keep on searching. Today is a little windy, so I think it's a good idea to buy a hairband. 50 cents matches well with today's outfit. Great. This chessboard, the price is 8 euros, but maybe for 5 euros I could get it. Um, it's only missing the drawer handle. I have found this uh, light pink blazer. I don't know if you can see it, but it has a shiny embossed texture. It is very nice. Um, 3 euros for this one. Cose che ti mancano? Sì, decisamente. Ne ho tanto bisogno. Amo. di qualche vecchio film c'è lo soio a me sembra più spessa di questa ha un disegno diverso sì, sono più spessa. Vediamo questo. 
Guarda lo specchietto. Vediamo dietro. Ah, le cartone. Vintage. Vediamo un po' di... Vediamo. Le patina poi scarpe. Chiudi. Che pelle. Un po' di lucido. Era un po' etnica. No. 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 Porta talco, cotone, eccetera. Per camera nostra? Facciamoci fare il prezzo per il set. Mary, metti un attimo giù. Metti sopra. Tutto. Vediamo. Molto caratteristico. bello ha anche le pagine dorate si sì. eh, una, una data, una data. Mm. 81 Tarà. non so se si vede 10 18 22 Zaro. Ho fatto fare dei buoni acquisti? Sì, buonissimi acquisti. Bene. Abbiamo trattato. Abbiamo divertente. Good deals, good deals. Good deals. Oh, sì, sì, sì. Ok, bisogna ricordarsi come Simo che... No! no. Scusa, <ride> il... lo rifaccio se vuoi. Bisogna che stiamo molto attenti nell'apertura del portellone perché le cose potrebbero cadere vista ormai la mole comincia a diventare impegnativa. Così era molto più comprensibile, sì, grazie a lei. Non devi tagliare e fare, sai, tutti i tuoi... Fare le traduzioni sia in inglese che in italiano perché non è detto che le persone capiscano. Oh, voilà! Adesso devi spiegarmi che cos'è. È un elephant of papier mâché e usually you can buy it in Paris at Lafayette Galleries around 15 euro yes. and now I paid 30 cents wow and now as promised I'm sharing with you today's haul but before starting today I'm going to do something special because I've got some fresh flower compositions and I want to use them as a centerpiece I'm using this Florentine tray to hold them and then I set the table with some of my recent purchases such as these gorgeous ceramic bowls um, they are Italian and they are handmade in Castelli there is also a bigger bowl and uh, I think they are perfect to serve the fruit salad I've got the entire set for 12 euros which is a super good price for these ceramics this setup was really improvised how amazing is this color combination i am obsessed i also got these brass candlesticks i am so glad that i found a couple for only 10 euros and i am using these thrifted golden candles that were meant to be for christmas but i think they look good also in this spring version and now let's talk about today's purchases I got the three Florentine coasters. I sold almost all the ones I had in my online shop, so every time I see some, I buy them. And I also got the tray. This one has a beautiful golden decoration and the red color is a bit darker. And then the majestic crane. I think it can be a crowned crane or something like that. I am in love with its elegant shape. I think it could also be used as a ring holder, you can put rings on his beak, don't you think? This mirror is very cute, I like it because it is not perfect and you can see that it has its history and the engraved decoration is very cute. Next up, of course, I got the collectible plate, it has beautiful exotic flowers, the cute flying hummingbird, the golden decorations, it is so gorgeous. And then the round mirror, again it has some imperfections, but to me it looks perfect. I already know where I would like to hang it, so stay tuned because I've got so many ideas for the next episodes. Next up we have all the alarm clocks that my husband bought for his collection. I am in love with the coral pink one, 
but they are all different and uh, I mean, they look so vintage. <sighs> the collection is growing very fast. Last but not least, I wanted to share with you the gift that my mother got me for Easter. Um, it is this silk scarf by Cartier. It is somehow similar to the one that we saw at the market because it has these birds made of jewels and rhinestones. I think they are very cute and precious and the delicate colors of this print are perfect for this season. On our way back to Italy, we stopped at Monaco to have lunch. Well, it is 3 p.m. Can we still call it lunch? We were so focused on the market that we didn't feel hungry. Does this happen to you too? We've been very lucky because in these days the weather has been perfect and now we are enjoying a walk in this beautiful park. Oh, che bene! Oh, sole mio! Si torna a mangiare italiano. I was joking. I ordered salmon tartare. Not very Italian, but very good. Buon appetito! Buon appetito! Buon appetito. This is the end of our holiday. I hope uh, you've enjoyed it as much as we did. Uh, don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video. <laughs> what are you doing? No, I'm not doing anything. Can you say something to you? A beautiful experience of these few days that we will reprogram it. Yes, sure. Can you do it still? So! So, <laughs> don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video. <laughs> If you liked it, uh, maybe subscribe to my channel and I wait for you in the next adventures. So, goodbye for now. Daniele, serve a thumbs up. Hey. No. Ciao a tutti. <laughs> up. Up. See you soon. See you.